Alrighty, we should be all good to get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Now, one thing to note, I'm gonna pause the game because of this. I did have, I, I did end up looking up how to get it into the Ashfin project. I know how to do that now. And part of how to do that is also why I'm not going to reset the loop this time. Anybody who's been following along for a little bit is probably pretty familiar with the fact that I use the music in the daytime as a sort of background music because it's easier than having to wait. And then I have to reset the loop because normally I'm on a time crunch. However, today we are heading to the Ash Twin and I need the warps to be available. So hopefully the couple minutes that I wasted just kind of sitting there waiting to start the stream is more than enough time to get us started today. But hopefully, we should be getting into this today. And basically, I'm going to explain this process a little bit. I do still need to finish the Sunless City, but we're going to do that later. Because I want to do this first. Because um, I don't know what exactly is going to be in there. And I kind of want to explore it first before I forget about it. But basically, what I discovered is... Uh, more than one, I think a fair number of the, the, the notes hidden around the world kind of described the Ash Twin Project with six warps. Um, and if you count the planets, there's... Has the Sun Station got a warp on it on the Ash Twin? One, two, three, four, five. No. Potentially. Basically, what I got is that there's six warps on the Ash Twin, but only really five warp stations. And that's kind of the key component. I don't remember how I got onto the Sun Station. How did I get onto the Sun Station? Hold on. I might have used the, the, the... Oh wait, no, there's not a warp on Dark Bramble, so yeah. Yeah, that's right. There's no warp on Dark Bramble. But basically... There, there's six warps, but only five warp towers. Well, quote unquote warp towers. Hey, I actually got out of my atmosphere pretty alright for once. I don't know if I've wasted enough time. I might still have to wait a little bit. But... Uh, I can kind of see them, but not really. What I discovered is that... Um, Let me land. Uh, what I discovered is that basically there's a warp for the Ash Twin and a warp for the Ember Twin on the Ash Twins. I'll leave that there and I think I park next to them. I could probably park a little bit closer. But. Yeah! I was looking that up and I'm like, oh! That's that's really cool to know. And then one of these I don't think it's the, I think it's the other one. I think it's this one. Is the one for the Ash Twin? Somebody mentioned that it was the one with the broken roof, which is I believe this one. And how they how this works, to my understanding is as mentioned in I believe it was the Black Hole Forge. The, um... Oh, I'm gonna bring my ship a little bit closer, too. The Ash Twins count as their own, um, celestial body in Nomai technology. So, in order to use this warp, I have to... I have to do a thing. I have to do a very specific thing. And hope that I do it right. Ooh, wrong way. Yeah, I can afford to a little bit closer. Like right there should do me alright. Worst comes to worst, my ship gets sucked over to the Ember Twin. It's really not that big of a deal. But in here? It's still being uncovered. 
But in here should be the warp for the Ember Twin, and I'm probably going to check that out here in a moment. Once it's done being uncovered. And then uh, the other one, which... Oh, ouch. Uh, apparently there's a cacti there. Yeah, this one should be the one for the Ash Twin. Of course I put a cactus right there. I'm just curious. It's that one. I'm gonna stand right here and hope to get yoinked. Is. I'm on the Ember Twin now. Back through. I don't know if I have time to still hit this one. <laughs> no. The entrance warp closes up really fast. So what I gotta do now is I gotta wait for it to cycle back around again. And because there's no roof on this one, I kinda have to time it a little bit. I don't know ex sorry. I don't know exactly how close I have to be to the warp in order to trigger it. But there's this little pocket here that I think I'm supposed to stand in and wait for it to pass overhead. And then it's like I think that was about the center of the stream. So I can uh, potentially catch it on the tail end of the stream. Maybe I'm not sure exactly but the the alignment point is the ember twin or basically straight in the middle of both the planets because they're so close should I get oxygen it's probably coming back around right do I have time to get oxygen I don't know where the ember twin is There's probably oxygen inside. Yeah, it's coming. Did I just jump off of a flat wall? Okay. The fun part is waiting. I had time to get oxygen. I'm, I'm really hoping there's oxygen inside because I'm not sure if there's oxygen. Uh oh. Yep, here it comes. I'm just listening for it. Sorry, I'm not saying a lot. Woo, that worked. Yo, oh my god, why is it spinning? Oh, probably because it's the center of the planet. Okay, hello. 10 minutes, 38 seconds ago, received data from previous cy cycles. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module, Dian's Deep memory statue, and Timber Hearth memory statue. Probe tracking module. I don't know what that is. 12 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Probe tracking module. I don't know who that is. This is where I've been. That's so cool. I'm finally here. And I might possibly need to steal some. Oh my god, there's so much writing. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin here in the space we carved. We will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We also finished relocating all sub subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab, I can hardly believe Raimi's hypothesis was true. Poke just sent the warp core for f 
for the final tower to us at the Black Hole Forge. Now the Ashman can connect the Giant's Deep, where Casavania is working with Evans to craft the Orbital Probe Cannon, and where Floy is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis, it was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis, the cores could have been forged faster if Casavania had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through the Ash Twin now, also and and also that I'm no longer needed for meditating at, for mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Milo tells me the cannon is doing well and that Evans collect advocated for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Evans can. But then if anyone can go to device into exploding that too, it is likely Evans, perhaps. I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in interest of safety. It would help to remind Evans that Mallow, his love, will be the one will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? Or is Mallow a part of the problem? <laughs> Box and Days finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Astron Project succeeds, or in the event that it fails, memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pai and Idia have worked hard on the sun station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will pump the sun's explosion, which in turn will supply the power the Ash Twin Project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin Project. Here is what will happen. First, the sun station will, will receive the order to fire at the sun prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashwin project will send will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ashwin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ashton project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Suppose we reassign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. It is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Idia, but you need to find some way to halt our aging process. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend, and do not lose hope. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. It has been a very long time since the last we explored something new, so we're excited to welcome this comment. Imagine what knowledge might be granted here. Wow. What is this? Artificial gravity control. Can I turn off the gravity? Oh, yep, I just turned off the gravity. <laughs> Sweet. Oh god, wait, no, I'm, I'm not moving. No, thank you. I'd rather have gravity. I don't know what this does, but let's touch this button. You're about to access the core while the Ash Twin Project is required. Having removing the core will disable the Ash Twin Project. Oh. I don't think I want to do that. Well, I do, but I don't know if I want to do it this cycle. Try and steep protection stone. I was told the mask inside the Ash Twin Project and they look beautiful, though I feel like they No, I've read this. Yeah, I've read that. I've probably read all of these. But in relation to the Ash Twin, I'm not sure for Timber Hearth. My gratitude for the latest shipment! 
or we need yeah I read these pretty sure I read this one too I like how they just have copies How much time do I have? Cause if I disable... If I disable the project... Nine minutes. Then in theory, the next... Uh, the next time I die, I'll be, that'll be it. I don't know if I have enough time... In theory... What happens if I do that? Is that it? Hold on. I'm not- I'm not taking it out, I just want to go look at it. Yeah, I think that's it. Remove warp core. That's what I need for the vessel. That's crazy. I don't- there's no way. I don't have time to take that to the vessel. There's no way I do. I'm gonna cover that back up. Can I even remove it? See, I'm pretty sure- oh god. Ugh, gravity, please! Please give me gravity. Please? Hello? I don't think I'm allowed gravity anymore. <laughs> oh, nope, there it goes. Ah. Does it hurt it? If I open it while well, I still have gravity. No. God, that's wild. I know I'm like aggressively in the center of this entire planet. But it's still- that's crazy. I've got so much gravity! How much time do I have? Probe tracking module. I don't know what the probe tracking module is. My ship. My ship's still on the planet, so that's good. Fortunately, it doesn't tell me who exactly these are oh my god oh no <laughs> uh oh I didn't think about this hi help 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 oh god please I don't have a lot of fuel God damn it. I keep like just barely getting sucked into the gravity. I can't get back onto the platform. <laughs> Help! Oh! Almost. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh god. Oh, nope, I'm stuck. Help. 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 <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh god. Wait, wait, hold on, wait. Oh god. Uh, where am I? What is life? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Shh. Okay. 
Land. Please, 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 please. Okay. 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 Don't do that again. Five minutes. <sighs> Probe tracking module. That's... Uh... That's something around Giant's Deep, ain't it? I need to get out of here. I have five minutes till the sun goes kapoey. Should I die here? I wonder what happens. Does anything happen? Why would something happen? I might turn the gravity off again. There's there's oxygen in here, so I'm fine to use fuel as propellant. I'm just curious what happens if I grab it. I want to grab it. Oh god. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, please. Wait, no, wait. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. Yeah, okay, let's not do that. Let me start the gravity back up again so I can, I don't know, maybe leave? Do I even need to leave? Just leave it uncovered. I it doesn't hurt it. I don't even know if I can. I think that's the sun about to go. God, that's crazy close. If this was real life, this planet would be in the sun. Three minutes to end the cycle. Wait a minute, I fuck it, I might as well. Just like, what's the harm? Huh? There's no harm. There's literally no harm. God, that's crazy. This looks so wild. Like, I I understand that where the are, I'm the one spinning is clearly indicated by everything, but it looks like that centerpiece is spinning. Like, that is so cool. I might turn the gravity back off again. Oh, hello! I didn't even realize there's a statue here. It's not open. There are lots of statues that weren't. It's gonna go soon. Two minutes. Yeah, Giant Steep, which is Gabbro, Timber Hearse, and somebody from Probe Tracking. Which I think is that thing around Giant Steep. So now I'm just curious on who. This is so pretty. Oh no, leave that open. I don't want to grab it because I don't want to die with it and fuck everything over. God forbid I end the loop and have to start everything over again. I do want to look at it some more. Like, that's so cool. Nope. I think I'm almost done. You are here. Oh, I see it. Go. Oh. Why is the sun blinding? Hey. Oh, yeah. Nope. There's Brittle Hollow. It's the white hole. There's the rest of Brittle Hollow. So, God, do I want to try to plan that out ahead of time? Like, I'm gonna have to come here. I'm gonna have to enter the thing, like, as soon as I can. And then I'm going to have to, what? I'm gonna have to grab this core, go to Giants, go to Dark Bramble, and go through Dark Bramble without dying. 
I've been through Dark Ramble a couple times and I haven't died. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? Um. What the fuck was that? I think I can do it. I do have to check something in the computer though. Before I go. But that's, that's gonna be, I'm gonna have to go pretty much as soon as I can. As soon as that warp is available. I have to go. <laughs> this is gonna be tight. It's 20 minutes. I can do it. I can do it. Ashwin Project. I finally made it in. Ruben Carr will disable the Ash Twin Project. Where was... This is what I'm gonna need... For... The thing. Hold on, let me take a screenshot real quick. Just so I can have that. I think... Yeah, these are the coordinates. I think. I don't know if, it, if there's an order. But if I understood the vessel properly, I need the warp core and I need the coordinates. Oh, tracking module. Who got. Hold on, does it say? Because wasn't it probe tracking module? Actively receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giants Deep, and Timber Hearth. Respectfully. Who? Who? Who's my third? That's what I still don't know. Who's my third? Is it the Nomai? I don't think the Nomai's my third. I'm curious. Okay. But it shouldn't be that bad. Um let me also mark the vessel. So that way when I'm ready to go that way I can just go. Strike, no need to fuck with it. Just go. I have I have no idea who the third is. Like it's not Felspar. I don't know who it could be. Oh, the binary rotation is gonna screw me. I don't know where exactly on the planet right now. The thing is. Let me get the fuck out of the way of the Ember Twin. <laughs> Cause I have to wait for it to uncover. That's the thing, is like... At best... Hold on, it's getting closer! We're gonna park it here for right now. Um... <laughs> Cute. Make sure to put that on. This is gonna be interesting. What do I do after that? Just go? I, I guess. Well, where is the vessel? There's the vessel. The derelict know my ship. Vessel's warp core is long dead. It must be some, see, a three-sided pillar. So I got everything I need. 
tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. Incoming messages from other things. Yeah. Just a matter of going. And I gotta wait some time, so. <laughs> I ain't got a lot to do while I'm waiting. I guess I could have dozed at the, um, at home. Should I do that? I don't know exactly how much time that has. Fuck it. Let's try it. So I have yet to actually doze anywhere. So if that can save me some time, then... What the fuck? Uh, what? I destroyed the fabric of space-time? Uh, what? 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 <laughs> what? I just wanted to go home and sleep! <laughs> what <laughs> Why is it kazoos? What? I, what? Huh? Um, what? I'm, oh, blah, blah. Um. Uh. Uh. This is going by really fast. I can't read any of it. I'm so confused. <laughs> what? What just happened? Load previous save? <laughs> Did I do something wrong? <laughs> what? Oh, this is gonna take forever to load. This is why you don't start on the home screen. Ah. <laughs> uh. I what? Wait, 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 Where am I? What does my previous save equate to? Is that the previous loop? Did I just go what? I seem to have everything. Okay. Um So, don't do that. Whatever I just did, don't do it. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but I did something. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to doze off. Oh, I can wake up at any time. That's that's actually a cool mechanic. I don't know how much time I need to wait. Oh, I actually decided that I don't really like that much. I'm gonna give it like another 30 seconds. Oh, it's probably actually equating to actual time. Um, I like that the music's time. That's hilarious. This should be more than enough time. If not, ugh. the Ash Twins. Come on! They're behind the sun! Well, it's a sun station. I 
There it is. <laughs> God, look at those arrows. That's apparently also a good time for the interloper. I still don't know what's going on with the interloper exactly, but I don't think I'm ever going to figure it out because I don't know what I'm missing in there. <laughs> Just says that there's more to explore there, and I'm like, how? Oh yeah, I still got some time. We're just now starting to uncover them. Woo! Alright, uh... Well, now I gotta see if I can find it. There they are. Whoa, there's the interloper! <laughs> that was cool. That should be close enough. Okay. I did ping the vessel. Got it. Okay. And that'll also help me locate Dark Bramble when that time's ready. I still got plenty of time. <laughs> can I spend. Can I waste away time and, like,. My ship? Ooh, get out of the way. Can I actually do that? Can I like doze in my ship? Is that a thing I can do? <laughs> Please? Can return my suit. Ship log. No. in my ship. That's cute. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree. Walk towards it. Enjoy. I just need to waste some time. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. Goddamn. Hourglass Twins. Timber Herb. Addle Rock. Hollow's Lantern. Brittle Hollow. Giant Steep, which has the moon... Interestingly enough, around Giant Steep. There's an axe! Why do I have an axe? Who gave this child an axe? Going. Let me go into the other one real quick. If I can. Dude, I can't exactly do much right now. I like how these are the only two that aren't interesting. <laughs> forgot about the cactus in the center of that. So let's assume that we can jump. Oh, and then I'm gonna have to wait for it to cycle back around, too. God, there's a lot of stuff that I actually have to wait on. Yeah, I can warp as soon as I'm ready. I seem to have that timing pretty well done. Fourteen! Oh my god, it takes eight minutes to be able to warp here. Eight minutes! 
I hate everything about that. So I'm gonna open this up. And then I'm gonna turn the gravity off just so I don't have to deal with potentially getting stuck and wasting time. But, <laughs> we gotta go. Oh no, I'm fine. There's my ship. I got like 10 minutes to go to the place and do the thing. Oh, and of course it's behind the sun! Let me get around to the sun before I set my uh, autopilot. Go! Oh my god, just do it already. Go! It's faster if you do it. <laughs> I am on a time crunch. <laughs> oh, cries. To do this effectively and quickly. Shit. Um. I don't know if it's the red one or not. I'm gonna go to the red one because it's closer. That's not gonna put me too far off from having to go to the other one if the red one's not the right one. I probably should have planned this out a little bit. Okay, I'm good at my job. Come, 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 come. Last thing I need to do is blow up my ship. Okay, good to know that there is, in fact, a shortcut! <sighs> oh, I hate this. Oh, and I'm going so slowly, too. It's so far away. Might be okay. Nope. I'm fucked. Nope. Uh. I gotta go through that section faster. There's no way. <sighs> so I need... Probably about five minutes. I'm dead. 
just God damn it! It bopped me out again. Why? Why do you keep doing that? Stop it! It takes so long to load back in. Not really, but ugh. so about five minutes of wait time. <gasps> Because it takes about eight minutes to be able to get into the project. So we're going to wait about five minutes. And then that'll give me the minute or two that I need in order to actually get to the Ash Twin. At worst, I get, or at best, I get there in six minutes total time. At worst, I get there in about seven ish minutes. It's making me nervous. <laughs> I don't want to like accidentally wait too much time. But I think it's I think it's double time is what's going on. So it's taking like half the amount of time to load through to a certain area, but also giving me plenty of time to be like, oh yeah, if you, if you need to make up now, you know, instead of having like a split second difference between minute five and minute six, because every second counts. But the, uh, the quantum moon itself, like up. Gives me about er, the quantum moon gets me close to the eye, but any, if I try to leave the quantum moon, then it just shoots me back down. Let's go. No, go that way. <laughs> Oh my god! It's fine. <laughs> oh no. Go. Not the quantum moon. Jesus Christ, yeah, this is what I was worried about. Not being able to fly. My landing gear is damaged. My headlights are damaged. Please just go. Please? What do you mean autopilot complete? The fuck you mean autopilot complete? Go! You didn't get me anywhere near it! Okay, well, we can probably cancel that now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Stay. Oh god, could my ship being sparky trigger them? I didn't even think about that. Go. Please hurry. Okay, or don't. It's fine too. Oh, I might still be able to make it, but it's gonna be tight. No, I think I'm fucked. There's no way. I wanna have to wait for it to come back around. Shit. It took me too long to get here.
How long is it going to take the cycle back around? Is that the quantum moon I see? Wait, hold on, I'm so curious. Hold on. Can I... <laughs> okay then. Good to know that observing the moon through the map does not get rid of the moon. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I think it's because I was observing all other possible places that it could have gone. You look now it's now it's there. That's really cool. You can almost get into it from here. Now it's on Timber Hers. That's so cool. It's coming back around. Yeah. Which is gonna unfortunate because I'm gonna be short on time a little bit, but hopefully I don't need every second. I haven't been pressed for every second yet, unless I'm exploring an area, in which case I'm, well, exploring. So hopefully being a couple minutes late won't hurt me too bad. Oh, I hope not. before. Let's go. How much time I got? 12 minutes. That took me an extra 2 minutes. God, I wish I could run. Being able to sprint would save me so much time in this game. Okay, so. Oh yeah! That's why it gave me the credits last time. Because I died with the warp core on me. <laughs> the Ashton project didn't exist. Or, well, it wasn't active at the time. What the fuck you mean? Go! Up! Stay there! Woo. Go! We gotta go. Ouch. God. Oh. I'm looking at how far down the sands have gotten. Don't give me that noise. Oh shit. I forgot to mark it. That was an easy find at least. Coco, go. I gotta mark it. And it's the red one. Remember, it's the red one. <laughs> No matter which side I go and do, I don't think it does. If they all go to the same spot. Careful, 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 careful. They're sensitive to sound, and I gotta remember going into the red one takes me directly there. So I gotta accelerate my speed before I enter the red one. God, this is gonna be tense. It's tense going through these things normally. Now I'm on a time crunch. Line up, 
line up, line up. And go! Stop. I'm going faster this time, I should be alright. And I think I can accelerate when I hit the eggs. But until then, I'm stuck free floating. Can't make a noise. At least can't make that many noises. <laughs> Oof. This is gonna be rough. I'm going much faster this time, though, so... Okay. Just because I can see the eggs, I think I gotta stop hearing them breathe. I can roll, but I don't want to lose my trajectory. Still hear one breathing. I might be okay. okay. Shit, there's one there. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. That's probably the one I woke up last time. I can do little taps. Baby taps, baby taps, baby taps. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> now that that nightmare's over with. That's totally not horrifying. I'll line up a little bit. I'm sorry. Your corpses are in my way. Oh, I'm upside down. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Okay, trees detected. Ooh, I got gravity. Okay, gravity's good. How did I trigger the thing last time? How did I do it? There it is. Okay, now for my screenshot. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> so let's assume that this is position one. Okay. And then... Okay. And then... Oh, God damn it. Don't lose the ball this time. We should be locked in. I think that's correct. Oh. 
that's it, I think. That's the eye of the universe. Anything I need to be aware of up here at all? I can't- I don't think I can write in their language. We need a system. I don't understand it, but it's there. That's actually- that's really cool. That is- that is really cool. I'm just trying to figure out- Cause I'm pretty sure the loop will still end if I run out of time. So I'm trying to figure out if anything around the vessel has changed. I'm locked in. So that's lovely. Oh. I don't know what that does. <laughs> That's like a resting spot. Yeah, cause the signal up there is... No, I can't take the warp core out. Can't do that again. Will it let me put more cords in? No, it won't. I mean, that's gorgeous! What's left for me to do? Just open up that black hole, I guess. I don't know what it does. I want to take one last look at at, at this because I haven't really stopped to properly observe it. God, that's gorgeous. Snaps pictures. Whoa, wait. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not too far off. I mean, yeah. That's... That's that. What does this do? I mean, turning my back on the eye doesn't seem to do anything. It's not like disappearing or anything. Oh. Oh, I'm on the eye. There's a fluctuation here. Where? I think I'm heading the right way. Oh my god, the gravity. Please don't make me have to do this again. <laughs> Can I enter this? Does it connect? It's the only signal I've got. Trees detected. Detecting. Should 
Should I go into it? I don't know how much time I have. Does time stop here? I don't know what I'm hearing. I can't get up there. Probably with the gravity so high, so I can't. Drop. I can go down. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't get into that signal, I don't think. No, I can't climb it. Are there any other signals around here? I don't think so, it's just that one. I mean, I, I keep hearing the quantum moon every now and again. Submerge myself in complete darkness. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I don't think there's anything around the edge. There's nothing that I can see. I don't... Uh, can I? I mean, once again, I can't really, I can't hear any other signals, except for that one. But the gravity's too strong. I can't go. Yep, it's a cosmic butthole. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm here. I just don't know how or what I'm supposed to do. Or even how much time I've got. Because the Ash Twin's probably going to dra drag me out. Unwillingly. Your adventures? No, there's no other signals besides that one. I could sit here for a little bit and see what happens. But I'm gonna run out of oxygen. I'm gonna need more oxygen. There's oxygen in the storm here. Because of the trees just popping around, so I guess I can walk back here a minute.
Oh, I kind of spawned in that one. I mean, yeah. I mean, this is space. It's getting very empty. The only signal I've got. Can't even see the vessel anymore. Hey, look, there's the moon. That's really cool. That's actually really cool detail. It actually shows up. Six thousand meters away. This place is massive. I'm probably about to get pulled out by the Ash Twin. So, I don't know what else to do. I can't go back. If I can, I don't know how. I'll just head back in. It's the only thing I can think to do. Hi, River! I'm very confusion. I'm here! I'm at the eye of the universe! I don't know what I'm supposed to do here! But I'm here! Because I can't go up. I just can't. As far as I can tell, nothing spawns in the darkness besides trees, which is great because that gives me oxygen. But the gravity's too too heavy. I can't go up. All these divots are just divots. Let's see, I fell into one. This is the only place where I can get away with out a super ton of gravity. work. How? Ooh. Oh my god. Hello? What the heck? Oh! The Nomai never got to see it for themselves. Thanks to their efforts and technology, a Hearthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. Outer Royal Ventures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the statue that started this. But ultimately went unexplained. There's nothing. Okay, I didn't like me doing that. That's cool. That that used to be a piece of paper explaining the um Oh the balls are gone. The fish is still here. One of the well, of all the life forms who will perish with the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. 
the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in a violent supernova. These are different. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a single to the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived bringing with it a deadly substance we call ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. That one might be the same. Am I supposed to go up? Wait, wait, wait. Before I do that... And odd according to my redshift calculation, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the further away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away, almost as if the entire universe is expanding. I think that's the same. But some of those were different. That was cool. Oh, goodbye! Ah! Uh. Okay then! Oh, that's a galaxy. Oh, it's torn apart as it is. What? I don't have a lot of fuel. Oh god, it's getting closer. <laughs> Wait, I really don't have a lot of fuel. <laughs> oh my god, that's a tree. That's a tree. Those are trees. What? I've got one channel. I can't hear anything. Everything's exploding. No, that's not a true signal. That's just noise playing. Was I supposed to do something? Hello? Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, there's a signal. It's breathing. That's not creepy. Oh, what? Is that myself? Do I just keep... Oh my god. Oh, things are appearing around me. Uh. Hello? Do you hear music? No, I don't. Oh.
How does it want me to get in? Oh! now. I'm so confused! It's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush. Take your time. Might not even exist here. What is going on? I'm so confused! Oh! Oh! What? Okay, let's follow a different signal, maybe. I'll figure this out. The quiet chain? Across old bark. The ancient glade. It's always dark. Good thing I still got at least a little bit of fuel. Holmes? The fuck's instrument is this? Oh. Hello? Up. I'm so confused at what's going on. I'm sorry if I'm not commentating a lot, it's because I have no idea what's going on. Nope, that's not. I like this tune. I don't know whose it is, but it's fun. Wait, did I gather the no one? <laughs> Hypothesis. Everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I believe we'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me. Hey, pal, so you're getting the, little, the band back together, huh? Go on, find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. Oh. Okay, what's the next closest signal? I think I found the ending of the game.
Oh, is this Felspar? I think this is Felspar. I think he had the harmonica. The only one left for me to figure out is this one over here. Natalie, you found me. Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. Want them to miss out. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do for this one over here. Right, no. I can't launch the scout. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, that'll forever be funny to me. So what am I supposed to do? Because every time I try to get close, it doesn't. Nope. See? I'm back. I'm confused. Nope! <laughs> I don't think that's it either. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? Yeah, let's not do that. Okay. Um... What am I supposed to do? I'm confused. How am I supposed to get him? Whoever this is. Aren't you forgetting someone? I don't know how to get him. Give me a hint. I'm dumb. <laughs> I know big brain. It's a telescope. Do I have to what, zoom in on it? Oh my god. That's ingenious. <laughs> my hint was the telescope. <laughs> oh. I guess we're telling everybody. Conscious Observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? This song is new to me, but I am honored to be a part of it. What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? This should be cool. Should I get out the old harmonica? Can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? Oh, okay, I won't let you down. like great thumbnail material. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Oh. Something's happening. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Not yet. It's tempting to linger in this moment while every possibility still exists. But unless they are collapsed by an observer, they will never be more than possibilities. I'll tell you this has been real fun, and I got to help make something pretty cool, so I got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? Cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out alright in the end, I suppose. Uh, I hope there are... Species in the next one. Wow, how long has it been since I got to make music with everyone I wound a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. Guess it's a good thing I said no! 
Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. But I think the rules are about to change. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is the past now, but that's, you know, that's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built around, built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. Still, it's, uh, it's time for something new now. Guess it's time. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. You ready to learn what comes next? I am. For once in my life, I'm certain about something. <laughs> I admire your curiosity, your friend. Let's find out together. What am I doing? Oh! <laughs> I jumped into it! Oh god. Oh, gender fluid, pansexual, polyamorous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. <laughs> You're better making decisions. Shit, that was not the time. I think I just destroyed the universe. <laughs> We're talking about my sexuality. <laughs> Outer Wilds. A Mobius Digital Games production. <laughs> I love you too, but damn. I think I found the real ending this time. <laughs> Not the one time I broke the space-time continuum by trying to take a nap. Don't ask me how that happened, I still don't know. Logan Verhoffit. And everybody else who worked on this. I, f I missed the first name because I wasn't paying attention. But, <laughs> I guess we're reading out Logan's name. <laughs> Honestly, this was a phenomenal game. I loved it. It was really confusing at times. Oh, I already got new games to play. <laughs> Don't even. But this game was a little confusing at times. Don't get me wrong. It was very heavy on its lore. Very, very heavy on reading. And there wasn't a lot of like direct ideas of where to start. Um, it probably would have taken me a little bit longer if I didn't accidentally figure out the trick with Giant's Deep because it took me a while to actually get to the Southern Observatory. But I figured out the thing with Giant's Deep by absolute accident by flying into a tornado. Um, <laughs> so I didn't have to spend the time to go to Brittle Hollow try to figure out the trick to getting into the Southern Observatory just to figure out how to do Giant's Deep. Um... But honestly, it was phenomenal. The storytelling was amazing. The like even just the subtle in-game storytelling was phenomenal. Um, the Quantum Moon didn't take me too long to figure out. Once I figured out the trick and remembered what exactly it was that I had to do, it did not take me long to do that. Do stutter to do that at all. Um, I, I'm I'm honestly. This game was amazing. Like, just straight up, it really was. Like, the visuals, the way everything was scaled so that it seemed both possible, yet incredibly large at a far away distance. Um, the timing of it all, I mean, sometimes the time lips got a little bit obnoxious, but I didn't run into the problem where I was really in the middle of something at the end of a time loop. Um, except for, like, maybe once or twice. Once I figured out how to meditate, I was the one ending my time loops most of the time. 
I never did figure out what exactly I was missing on the interloper, and honestly, I don't think that I really care that much. <laughs> this game is amazing, it was phenomenal, I loved it to bits. I don't- I'm not entirely sure that I understand the, um... The ending of it, but I'm sure somebody else would probably know or understand it a little bit more. Um, <laughs> Citrus, you you really have a bad habit of joining at the worst possible times. Like the end credits are rolling right now, Citrus. Technically, they've rolled three times during the stream, but we don't talk about the other two. I still don't know how the fuck I broke the space-time continuum by trying to take a nap. But I did. I literally broke the fabric of time- the, the, the. Yeah, I, I literally broke time by trying to reset a loop by taking a nap. That might have had something to do with the weird way that I died before that. Hmm. He can still kill reality by sleeping. So, in the time loop before that, I was I found my way into the Ashwin project and I was sitting next to the warp core when it it exploded right before I died. I wonder if that had something to do with it. Cause I I had wanted to reset my loop so that I could waste a little bit more time on the home planet instead of having to spend the approximate 8 minutes sitting on the Ash Twin waiting for the warp to open up. Because I gotta wait for the, the planet to drain up the ash and the sand. I honestly didn't think that we were gonna beat it today. I thought I had more to do, but I guess I just kinda said, yep, and beat the game. <laughs> Thank you for playing, Outer Wilds. That's amazing. 14.3 billion years later? Guys, it's not done yet! <laughs> oh god, don't tell me we start the game anew! <laughs> oh. That's a funky planet. Those are funky planets. How the hell does that happen? Don't answer that question, because one of the planets in our old solar system just had a black hole in the center of it. That's cool. Oh, there's people! I think. They're like moth ant hybrids. Citrus, you're in the game. <laughs> oh, my face was in the way. <laughs> oh god, it was in the very corner. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Oh, you'll have to look up a picture. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Just for that graphic. Nope. Breathing I wanted not to be patient. Stream Hollow Knight tomorrow or just play it on my own. You should stream it. God. That was amazing. Hold on. Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know how much my laptop's gonna like this, but I do- I, I feel a little bit bad about that- that graphic. So I want to see if I can find it real quick and put it up on the stream. Hold on. Um... Throw that there, download that, come over here. Uh, image. Here it is. Hold on, I gotta resize it. Transform. Hit the screen. This is the. This was the. This was the thing. 
Like, like that, that stutter. That was it. And you could kind of see where I got in the way. <laughs> like, if I just kind of... Oh. Dra oh, no. Drag it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I, I really was just kind of in the middle of that. God, I got so many things I could do now for like a f an end title. <laughs> I really did. I, I really did. That's so cool, though. That game was so much fun. Damn, I got like another 20. <laughs> I could do a whole loop. Hold on, hold on. Should I mess around for a little bit? I might. Hold on. Let me load previous save. I'm not going to do the ending again. But. I am curious about something. I might waste a bunch of time. Like, a lot of time. Like, there's approximately 22 minutes in every loop. I'm curious if I can speed up the time I wait for, if I, like, mess with the buttons. I want to try something. <sighs> okay. That's not the right button. I don't know if I'm actually speeding it up or not. I think I am. So this is like how you can skip time. Pretty much. No. Those off. No. Wait, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Basically, I want to wait, like, <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> Maybe a little bit less than that. I'll wait, like, approximately 10 minutes, which should give me time to get to the Ash Twin, land on it, and wait for it to cycle back around. Which takes about two minutes or so, depending on where it's at when I land on the planet. But I want—I want to basically. I want to sacrifice myself to the war, the the black hole, and just kind of see what happens if I go back afterwards. I'm—I I still want to know. Do, did something change? Something had to have changed, because something happened when I took a nap. Pretty much, I started meditating. <laughs> This takes a while. But it's less time than it would actually be to sit there for 20 minutes. So. I just wish I could control it a little bit better. Like, instead of just still having to wait, I could, like, use a slider to decide, like, oh yeah, I want to I wanna wake up uh, seven minutes from now. Instead of having to wait, like, five minutes. <laughs> To get to ten. It's not that long. Time's actually pretty fast. It's the game's not gonna be happy with me. <laughs> I already know. Hey, it's almost time. <laughs> oh, it's really not happy with me. <laughs> I wonder if it's if my computer is updated at all. I can probably check that on my way to the Ash Twin. I'll probably call it at 9. Gives me enough time to do what I need to do. Okay. So. <laughs> Good morning. It's been like 7 days on, on planet. The planet itself is not going to be happy. I just want to know if it updated at all. It didn't! Oh, I'm sad. I would love to get an Eye of the Universe blurb. Oh, 
Hold on. Let me exit my get my 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 thing. Nope. I'm gonna figure out where I am in relation to everything else. Dude, the sun station still exists. What the hell? Okay, there it is. God, I still got a lot of time. How much do I care about my ship? I don't plan to leave this project. Let me put my space suit on real quick. Which one is it? This one. Alright, now we get to do the fun part. Oh, it's coming. I still love that the planets orbit each other. Just do Hall and I during free time and stream Ari in the Blind Forest. <laughs> I mean, do whatever you want to do, Citrus, if you're still here. <laughs> I'm just now reading that message. I'm a great person, I know. There goes my ship. And go. Alright, how much time I got? Ten minutes! Shoot! I didn't wait nearly long enough. Let me go bunny hopping around. Stop freaking out. I was not paying attention to hearing my name and tune in. I played some of both, I just don't believe I got very far in it either. I mean, fair. I love that this is the thing that power is the entire Ashwood project. Like, I take this out, everything goes dark. If I died right now, I would be given credits. But, um... I mean, the big thing in my experience of like being a streamer and like really getting into it is do stuff that you want to do. Don't do stuff that you think you have to do. So if you really don't like, if you don't think that you really want to stream Hollow Knight, if you don't think it's something that you're going to enjoy, then you could try it out for a stream if you're kind of on the fence about it. Or you can just wait. Just not. It really doesn't matter. At the end of it, it doesn't really hurt you either way. I know there are games that like I thought about streaming, but I've also looked back on them and went, I wouldn't enjoy streaming that. So I didn't. I, well, currently I have no plans to. Um, I picked up this game because I thought it would be fun. I am rotating. Oh, the core of the planet is rotating. Still. Or it's because that's rotating a little bit still. Which is also very possible. No. I think that's just rotating. <laughs> but, um... I got distracted. I'm probably not, at least not at this current time, ever really going to stream, say, uh, Subnautica on my channel. I played through Subnautica. I enjoyed the game while I was playing it. I don't really want to play it 
on stream. Just as like a personal choice. How much time do I have? Six minutes. I want to do the thing. But, um... The same thing kind of goes with Subnautica Below Zero. Except I kind of hate Below Zero a little bit more. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I just don't like the game much. I've tried to play it. I did not like it. <laughs> the little bit that I did play. I've enjoyed other people's playthroughs. I just personally have not been interested in playing the game. Um, what other games are there that I've not really wanted to play? I enjoy games. So, Outer Wilds is a little bit out of my comfort zone for me. I enjoy games with a leer with, with a story-driven narrative, but Outer Wilds is pretty much entirely story. I would have enjoyed it if they had like some more mechanics, maybe maybe some stuff that you could learn perhaps to help you navigate the planets or a little bit more involvement of like breaking up the monotony of loop after loop after loop after loop after loop. Like you could learn things from the from like the camps for example it would also encourage you to actually go seek them out a little bit more instead of just kind of wandering across them and then giving you a little bit of history on the planet that they're on i would have enjoyed learning stuff from them like i got my meditate ability from gabro and that was cool because that let me end loops faster sooner. If I screwed up or anything and I needed to end a loop, I could do that. Um, but it would have been nice to get something from like Felspar or Ryback or any of the rest of them. Like, I can understand not really getting anything from the Nomai. That's understandable. But not getting anything from pretty much any of them was a bit of a bummer. I mean, I can understand not wanting to completely overpower... Four minutes. Um, wanting to completely, like, overpower the main character or whatever. But the loops towards the end of it really did get kind of monotonous. It was a situation of, oh yeah, start here, go here, but hurry up, because you're on a time limit. And sometimes that go here would also lead to, oh, well, now I have to go to this place to go find this thing. And uh, it's all right. It's not really the game's fault. I don't blame the game. Well, I do, but I don't. It could have been better. I mean, I wasn't necessarily expecting to get, like, a gun or anything. But they could have had it where, like... You could talk to them in any order, so it still, like, includes the pick your starting planet and go from there thing. Um, <clears throat> that's kind of like a part of the game, which is why the game, every area has a lot of stuff and a lot of repeating information. But at the same time, they could have had it, like, you know, first upgrade might be, like, a bigger jetpack or... Um, on Giant's Deep, maybe you could find an upgrade for a stronger jetpack, something that would work a little bit better with, um... Uh, Huzuma was it? The, um... The gravity on Giant's Deep. Or, like, in Brittle Hollow, you could find, like, a, a grappling hook, even, to help you navigate the treacherous terrain and the lack of a floor. Cause that was the hardest part with navigating Brittle Hollow for me was all of the stuff in like the Hanging City. There's very little floor, <laughs> so you make one misstep or you you activate your jetpack at the right spot, and you're careening down towards that black hole, and there's nothing you can do. Even if it wasn't like a super accurate system or something, it still would have been better than. I, I had to reset my loop so many times trying to explore Brittle Hollow. I hated exploring Brittle Hollow because I constantly fell into the black hole. Time's almost up. But, um, 
Again, that's not necessarily the game's fault. It just it's some quality of life stuff could have been nice. Um, I definitely enjoyed the DLC, which fits seamlessly into the story. I'm curious how this was supposed to end without the DLC? If it ended at all? Because I got the, um, the, 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 uh, I don't remember the exact name of it, but it's like the Eye of the Universe DLC or whatever. Which I think is what let me take the vessel to explore the eye. But I'm not sure. I don't know what's different in the base game. Like, I don't know if them talking about the eye so much is part of the base game or not. I'm not even on the center of the planet. I just noticed that. Um. Yep, there it goes. And I'm dead. I got pushed into that black hole again. So now... <laughs> we get to go do some more waiting. Um, it takes about eight minutes for the warp on this planet to open up. So I'm gonna wait like another eight minutes. <laughs> and we're gonna see what happens. Because I'm just curious. I just wanna know. Shut up. I definitely enjoyed... One of my favorite parts of the game, I think, was the uh, the quantum moon. Like the the subtle puzzle tree of it was very unique, very interesting. That's not what I needed to do. I needed to go take a nap. But um. I also liked that 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 the, the the moon had very unique surfaces, depending on what planet it was orbiting at the time. Like I think that that was so cool, and I hate that it took me so long to realize that. One of the things I kind of didn't like was being stuck. Um, most of my time on the quantum moon at first was spent looking for the tower. Like, I'd go to Giant's Deep, I'd go past the middle, past the equator of the moon, and then I'd have to look for that tower, and looking for that tower could take upwards of, like, five minutes sometimes. So that really cut into my time at the end of the, um, at the end of the cycle. Like, I get, I understand the randomness, but I would have liked it if maybe it was a little bit more consistently random, if that makes sense. Just as like a like a personal preference thing, I don't mind it the way it is now. I understand it. It's it's very much within the lore of the game. I'm just a little annoyed that sometimes it took me so long to find that tower. I'm also mildly annoyed that sometimes I'd find the tower, and then I'd like I didn't process it in my brain fast enough, which is partially um, partially my fault. So I, I I'd find the tower. And then I wouldn't realize it for that like split second that it was in like the corner of my screen. So by the time I process that the tower's there, it's gone. Because it, it's exited my view and it's just gone. There's no, no remorse for finding that tower on the quantum mode. There, there is absolutely no remorse for that tower. <laughs> That's good enough. Which is fine. Like I said, I get it. But it was a little frustrating doing the moon quest and not being able to consistently find the tower because I went on to that quantum moon albeit at my own dumbass fault but I was on that moon like four times exploring it And, and trying to figure out the puzzle and not quite understanding what I needed to do. It was definitely, it was very unique. I loved this game to bits. It's it's awesome. They've done a great job with everything that they have had in their, their abilities. 
just as like a personal standpoint. Like if I were the one who developed this game, this would probably be what I did I would do differently. Uh, assuming that I'm like a master coder and would have no problems inputting <laughs> some of these um that's the wrong one. Some of these mechanics I mentioned. Which absolutely I also understand like technical difficulties can be very difficult. This ain't gonna take long. Um that's why like a lot of things don't end up getting added to games that were like maybe teased a little bit in trailers or talked about by the dev team in like the very early stages. It's very understandable. <laughs> I'm just rambling about this game because I have nothing to talk about. It's a, it's an amazing game. I loved it. Absolutely, it was wonderful. It was very simple uh, controls wise, which is both a blessing and a curse. Honestly, loved it. Like, like for all, or for all the grief I'm giving the game, it was, it was perfect. At the end of it. Here it comes. There goes my ship. Goodbye, ship. Hope I don't need you. And go. All right, what's different? Oh, hello. What is that? Well, hello there. Talk to self. <laughs> Hi. Ah! This got weird in a hurry. What the heck happened? This is the greatest day of my life. What the heck happened? If you're me, then I'm as confused as you are. You think we have the same memories? Good question. Let's see. I remember all the time loops including the last loop when I jumped into a, a black hole in here. What about you? Sounds like our memories diverge from the start of this loop. Makes sense to me seeing how jumping into the black hole is definitely what created the two of us. Hey, what do you think happens if we don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? That's a good question. Something I've been wondering about. We're in roughly third. We're in thoroughly uncharted territory at this point. Unlike the other time manipulation. <laughs> Truly, we are the Felspar of weird time stuff. Oh geez, Felspar would just use the time loop to try increasingly outlandish stunts, wouldn't they? Might be a good thing they aren't aware of it. At any rate, it's been good talking to you, me. Incredibly strange, but good. See you around. This is the greatest day of my life. Sure, two of us is great and all, but what is... But is... Is it the greatest? What about the day we... You know, what about that one? You talking about the day I... No, 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 I'm talking about the other one. Oh, yep, that makes more sense. <laughs> Pretend you understand. Yeah, now you got it. It was an incredible day. It was probably the... the today is probably the next greatest day in our life after that one. Definitely no, I was just of the same memories of you, except for this loop, I mean. I started this loop by popping out of a white hole inside the Ashman project, since in the loop before this one I jumped into the black Oh Right! Because in this universe, warp travel technically takes you back a second a couple seconds. Oh my what? What do you think happens? Guess we'll find out. Guess so, at any rate, it's a good talk. Ah! What if we jumped jump into the black hole? It was a terrible idea! Ah! Ah! Why? Whoa! This got weird in a hurry. Yeah, duplicating living beings is probably isn't what the Nomai had in mind when they built the Ashton project. I wonder if there being two of us screws anything up. But well, we're talking to each other and nothing has exploded yet. Gosen says that that means the date's going well. Yes, but it's late definition of a boring date. Makes Gosen and Slate makes sense. Gosen and Slate never dated. 
then the whole mess up with ghosts and die. Obviously, I think that's uh. <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Quickly change the subject. You know how I or uh, we jumped into the black hole at the that opened up at the end of the last time loop. What do you think would happen if you don't jump in this time? Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Okay then, so I think I figured out what's different. Considering, you know, I exist. Am I really careening around in space? In a- I am. I never realized that. We don't have a proper space suit. How? 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 There's no way! This is not enough to protect you from space! You're in a tunic! And, and boots! Boots! You're in boots, my friend! How? Are we God? Like, like, we've got a space suit on. Which, by the way, is apparently taped on the one side. But we're, 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 we're walking around in the cold abyss of space with nothing but a tunic and boots. Normal lace-up boots. I think we're God. I, I, <laughs> Anyways, let me just break time real quick by taking a nap. That's that's an amazing effect. You destroyed the fabric of space time. <laughs> but um I don't know if I can I can. Okay. I don't have to worry about the kazoo. That's hilarious. Anyways, um thank y'all so much for coming out and joining us. If you haven't already and you would like to, please feel free to go check out the discourse where you can be up updated on when I plan on going live. Whoops. Most, if not all, of my streams end up on the YouTube channel at some point or another. So if you want to go check out the start of this journey or anything else that I've done from between now and then, then please feel free to go check that out there. Um, Once again, a amazing, phenomenal game. I know I spent the last, like, 15 minutes of the game kind of like half-assedly shitting on it, but that's all in good fun. I mean nothing seriously. I loved the game two bits. It was amazing. It was wonderful. Um, and if you'd like to go check it out for yourself, um, because there were some plot points that I never properly finished. Personally, I'm sure there's more that can be discovered. But, um... Yeah. Honestly, an amazing game. I loved it. Uh, I did have some technical difficulties at the start of trying to stream the game that gave me a little bit of a problem further on down the line. But, or, not really. It didn't... It, I said that wrong. It cleared up further down the line. Once I figured out how to set all my settings and made sure that I was doing everything right, everything ended up doing, uh, handling pretty good. Um... And yeah, I can't I can't wait to start the next game on Friday, I think. <laughs> like I said, go check the Discord. I keep my schedule there. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we're we're done with space for now. I might I don't think I'm gonna visit the game later, but I might. I could. I don't know what I do, but I could. We'll talk about it. Late on a later date. But, um, once again, thank y'all so much for coming out, uh, hanging out with me, having fun. Um, hope y'all have a good day slash night slash evening slash whatever time of day it is for you. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye bye